Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my fashion year series on Kira Kira. Today, I'd like to introduce all you aspiring creators to one of my biggest design heroes, legendary architect Zaha Hadid. Hadid has been known across the globe as one of the most influential female architects and designers of our time. She built some of the most breathtaking structures, large and small, from buildings to furniture and even fashion products. See my mood board for inspiration. Given her affinity for futuristic and minimal curves, let's make a tabletop sculpture inspired by Zaha Hadid's aesthetic in the Autodesk Fusion 360. Step one, creation of the spline. Getting started, save your design. I'll be naming mine architect-tabletop underscore sculpture. We'll be building in the sculpt workspace initially from the front view. Begin with the spline tool found in the sketch menu. Draw your spline as an organic curve, keeping the overall length no greater than 300 millimeters, which is roughly one foot long. Time to have some fun with your abstract sculpture by utilizing the move function for each point in the perspective view. Select the spline and right click for the move copy tool or command M. Make sure each of the curve points turn blue and drag the arrows accordingly. Step 2. Creation of the Thickened Extrusion Now our custom spline is ready to become a form. Under the Create menu, select Extrude. Drag as you see fit, though be sure none of our faces intersect. This way we don't run into any problems later on. Next, use the Thicken tool in the Modify drop-down, with Thicken type set to Soft. Depending on your curve, determine a suitable thickness. I will go with 50 millimeters. Step 3. Finishing the form. Finally, we're all set to complete our sculptural form in the model workspace. To do so, select the whole sculpture and then finish form. You'll notice we've changed into the model workspace. Step 4. Export your STL file. I'm sure Zaha Hadid would love our super futuristic designs. Finishing things off, let's download the STL file. Highlight the sculpture, then select Save as STL under the tab with our file name found in the browser menu. Again, name your design in STL format. All that's left to do is print your amazing abstract tabletop object. Be sure to explore more of our lessons to practice honing your inner designer. Have fun building more unique products, and don't forget to share them with our creative community on KiraKira.com. Kira